Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am on Brook Street in London. Behind me, you can see the house where Georg Friedrich Handel lived. The red door and the blue plaque above it. So uh, he was born in Germany in 1685. Of course, Germany wasn't united at the time. It was divided into 360 states, most of them independent, some of them part of the Holy Roman Empire. So he's from one of the northern German states where Lutheranism, that's the type of Protestantism, prevailed. And indeed he was a Lutheran. So um, his father was a professional musician as well and um, Handel followed his father's footsteps. And much of the music he was writing was choral music, ecclesiastical music for the most part. Uh, and he was obviously a, an accomplished instrumentalist himself. Does one say that? Anyway, not just a composer, but he played as well. Didn't sing so much. Um, anyway, in 1714, Queen Anne of the United Kingdom died. So uh, Parliament had passed an act of succession, ruling out all the Roman Catholic claimants to the, to the crown of Great Britain and the crown of Ireland likewise. And so that they passed over 58 um, Catholic claimants who were higher up the line of succession to go to the nearest Protestant one, and that was George Elector of Hanover. Hanover was one of those northern German states, uh, which was a handless area. Um, and uh, so he was a Protestant and he came over here um, speaking limited English as a middle-aged man. So um, he brought a lot of German culture with him and um, he never mastered English. He spoke some English. Um, and he said to the Prime Minister, first Lord of the Treasury, it was the official title then, said to Sir Henry uh, Walpole, sorry, Sir Robert Walpole, why don't you and your cabinet, your the ministers, just meet, meet without me? It's much easier if you do it that way. And so the prime ministerial system and the cabinet as we know it began. Um, anyway, so he brought over composers and artists and various people to keep German culture going. He'd feel more at home and he actually went back to, to Hanover quite a lot. So he was King of the United Kingdom, King of Ireland and Elector of Hanover. So Handel came over at this time. His surname means trade, indicates what uh, his ancestors used to do as in handling things. So uh, he lived here from 1723 onwards and he composed uh, music for royal firework, fireworks and lots of celebratory musics, um, Sarabande, um, Zadok the priest, you know, that's you, Zadok the priest and Solomon the prophet anointed, and Nathan the prophet anointed Solomon the king. Just trying to think, the Hallelujah Chorus and many, many more, too numerous to mention, La Réjouissance, and so forth. So at many royal occasions, we were playing these pieces. So they're now regarded as um, quintessential British culture, but in fact, Germanic in origin. So it's good for us in the British Isles to Remember and emphasize our links to this uh, cousin nation, Germany, and not to be bigoted against them, not to be spiteful, and look at and, and, and not to focus exclusively on the less um, admirable uh, chapters in their history. So this is open to the public, um, and you go around the back through that alleyway, and that's where you get into it, and it's got some personal effects from his lifetime, lots of portraits. He never married or was known to have any romantic relationships, completely devoted to his work. Um, by a curious coincidence, right beside him, you see the blue plaque in the next house, that's where Jimi Hendrix lived in the late 60s. He died in 1970. Not here. He died in London, but not in that building. He died in the Samarkand Hotel, which is the Notting Hill area. I've not identified the actual building. Samarkand Hotel no longer exists. Anyway, um, Handel used to worship in a church, which you can't quite see from this angle. But, I mean, it's only about 500 metres from here, down that way. If you went down that way and turned right, you'd get to on Hanover Square. Hanover Square because remember the Elector of Hanover was king. So it dates from that era. Well, that is Handel's house. Well worth seeing if you're remotely interested in music or the man himself.